Hey guys, how's it going? So, today I am going to talk about One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Now, this is a digi book, um, and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest is directed by Milos Foreman and stars, as you can see, Jack Nicholson. And uh, it also has uh, Louise Fletcher as Nurse Ratchet, Danny DeVito, Christopher Lloyd, um, missing someone the guy that and that that's basically who oh and I forgot his name the, the black guy from the shining um smart smart and Cothers something like that um and basically it was it won best picture and it won all the the five the all five of the major awards: best picture, best director, best screenplay, best actor, and best actress. Now, I think only three movies have done this. I could be wrong, but I know Silence of the Lambs did, and it happened when Night did. They won all three of the. They won all five of the major awards. So this is one of the only ones, and it came out in 1975, the same year as Jaws. And there's another movie that came out in 1975. I just can't wrap my head around it. So the story is about Randall McMurphy, uh, a guy. He he's crazy. He's 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 been in a lot of trouble. He just got out of prison, and now he's going to this like this basically. I, I wouldn't say insane asylum, but you know this place where they keep people that are not stably well, that are basically crazy. Um, and so he he. He he gets along with the crazy people, but also has a rivalry with the nurse played by Louise Fletcher, Nurse Ratchet, and basically that's what happens. Um, I love this movie. This is one of my favorite movies of all time, and one of the best movies to win Best Picture. Even though I like Jaws more because I've seen it more times, I still think this is probably as good as Jaws. I mean, they're two totally different movies, but in the same year, I'm like... I can't find a number one because they're both perfect movies. Um, like this, literally, this movie is is it, it doesn't try to be an Oscar movie. Like when you see The Godfather, I'm not saying it tries to be an Oscar movie, but it's pretty obvious why it got an Oscar. This one is kind of risky to win an Oscar. It's kind of like Midnight Cowboy, where it's a really big risk for it to win an Oscar because it doesn't really. And happy. I mean, The Godfather doesn't either, but, like, I'm trying to think of a better example. Like, probably all the best picture, most of the best picture movies that win. They, they like, 12 Years a Slave, um, Birdman. Uh, well, that wasn't really an Oscar movie, but th there are a lot of, like, Oscar kind of baby movies that win Crash. I, I haven't seen Crash, so I don't know. I can't really say accurately, but, you know, like, a lot of movies. <sighs> you just haven't, like... Just one best picture just because they were. I mean, this was a very big risk. I mean, it wasn't a it was a flawed character, a flawed hero. You still liked him. He was flawed. He could have he could have been an asshole. He did risk the lives of people, but he also cared about people. And that is what's really good because Jack Nicholson, like always, gives a layered and just fascinating and just exciting, accelerating performance as as a the, as, as Randall McMurphy, and Randall McMurphy is one of the best movie characters. You care for him, you want him to get out, but you also want him to stay better. And that's what I think, because he's such a flawed hero, and he is really, really good. Um, the, the snowy atmosphere, and there are some funny moments, some fun, funny moments. Uh, he's very funny as well, Rand, Randall McMurphy. Um, but he's also really emotional. He also really cares about... You could tell he cares about the other people. He cares about all of them. And you do too because all the characters are really interesting. There's I um, there's there's Tabor. There's Mr. Martini played by Christopher Lloyd and Danny DeVito who are both really good. And I think this was Danny DeVito. Um, not Danny DeVito. But this was Christopher Lloyd's first movie. And also... Uh, I can't think of the other guys, but you know, Chief, Chief, he's right, right there, on the cover. Um, Chief is also a really, really great character as well. Uh, Brad Dorf is fantastic in this movie. I think this is his best performance. Um, 
And like, I just, I, I, I really enjoy Brad Dorf. He also got nominated, which out of all the supporting cast, he probably should have, because he had the most. A lot of the heart of the movie comes from him. Like, because he's a young boy, and I love his arc, which I'm not going to spoil if you haven't seen this movie, which you should if you're a movie fan. But anyways, um, it's well shot. It has, like like I said, it has a snowy kind of dark atmosphere. It, it has really good mu music. Um, Michael Douglas produced this movie as well. It's got a great, great screenplay. Um, great ending. Like I said, great directing by Milos Forman. Um, and just, just a fantastic movie. I, I can't really say too much about it. It's just a great movie. It Like I said, Jack Nicholson, um, Randall McMurphy's a flawed character from beginning to end. The movie ha is very emotional. It makes you cry. The ending is just perfect. And just, yeah, it's really sad. And uh, I forgot to mention Louis Fletcher's Nurse Ratched. How can I not mention that? Nurse Ratched is one of the meanest characters. But however, she's an authority. At times, you're like, oh, she's, I guess, okay, I mean, she's trying to help, and then you're like, no, total bitch. But like, she, she is, like, Louis Fletcher plays her, like, perfectly, and just, I mean, just, this is the best I've seen, this is one of the, some of the best well-acted movies, and just, it's so different from a lot of other movies, like, this is original, like, I mean, sure, there's been movies about crazy people, or, like, people in, in these kind of homes, like Girl Interrupted, which is kind of a girl version of that. But, I mean, I, I, I also really like that movie, but I, I think I've reviewed it before. Um, but, you know, this is like, this is also really brilliant and, uh, like, because it's, it's not happy. Like, you would think this would be happy. I mean, it does have happy moments. It does have kind of, kind of, it, it does have, it does have a sad moment, but... But just like what what happens at the end, the brilliant ending. I I can't. You know what? I'm gonna spoil the movie. I love this movie so much. I'm gonna spoil the movie. So you know what? I'm gonna wrap up my thoughts and then spoil the movie. Okay. So. So um. So overall, I love this movie. This is just a fantastic movie. Um, with a great performance. One of the best movies to ever win Best Picture. One of the most perfect movies of all time, one of my favorite movies of all time, probably now in my top 15 now that I realize, I'm like, wow, this is great. I mean, I really, I, I thought it was really good the, fir the first time I saw it, then the second time I saw it, I thought it was great. And the third time, I'm like, okay, this is a fantastic movie. And it is a fantastic movie. So, yeah, I'm going to give this movie an A+. It, it definitely deserves it. Um, uh, all right, guys. So that is my review of of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I hope you I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and like, subscribe, and bye bye for the people that haven't seen the movie. You should. I'm gonna spoil it. So bye to people that have seen the movie. To haven't seen the movie, people that have seen the movie, stay here. Okay. Okay, um, it's gonna get spoiler. I'll put a link to where it gets spoilerish. Uh, I'll put it in the description. So, eight, fifth, fifty. It gets spoilers. Okay. So the ending to One Food with the Cuckoo's Nest. I can't even. I can't not mention the ending, but I don't want to spoil it for people that haven't seen it. Um, so basically, what happens is that she can't can handle. Chief uh, Ken Hale and McMurphy getting the lobotomy, so he basically kills. So he basically basically kills McMurphy, and then and then Chief escapes because Jack Nicholson wanted to escape, um, and and you know um, he wanted to escape. He wanted to to die. Not, he he didn't want to die, but um, he. he uh, random he so he killed him because he c couldn't see his friend like this and I love this this is just perfect because you don't want to see a guy one of your friends living like this you just you can't see that so when he did that that is actually really true and one of the best endings in any movie I think it is a phenomenal ending because there is redemption but it is in a cookie cutter redemption like 
I mean, it's it's just very good. I mean, they're you do care for him. It is a sad movie, but then when Chief runs out, it's kind of uplifting in a weird way because he technically did escape the way he wanted to, but maybe not with Meg Murphy. So it is heartbreaking, but I guess it does have something happy to it. I I wish it would. It just it's really it's a really emotional ending, and I I I just love it. And then you see Tabor screaming. Yeah, I really really enjoy it. All right, guys. Bye for good.